All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys how to log your day of food. Um, so this is for tomorrow. And then it gives you a chance to play around um, with the portions so that you make sure you're hitting your macros. Um, so for breakfast, I'm having a protein shake and some almond butter in there. And I just did one tablespoon, so I have a half a serving. And some almond milk. <clears throat> and I'll do one cup, so I changed my serving to one, and it's unsweetened. And for the snack, Premier. And once you guys start logging your food, um, it'll show up here in your list of frequently added foods so it'll make logging a lot easier um, and then lunch I already have this pre-weighed out and set to go for when I'm at work tomorrow so I always change the serving to one gram and then I can just change easily how many grams I weighed out in that particular food Um, and then you'll notice, so a half a cup, let's see if this one has, uh, it doesn't have grams on that one. So we'll do a half a cup. Um, veggie chips. Or Costco, 38 chips is one serving. So you can change it to one chip and count out your chips. And some asparagus. And then um, the way I plan my meals is um, I try to add, do a protein, a carb, and a fat with every meal. And then I probably won't have a snack tomorrow because I'm at work and the afternoon is usually pretty busy. I'm not quite sure what we're having for dinner tomorrow, but I don't know what I just typed there, but... Let's try some chicken. We'll do 100 grams of chicken. A tortilla. A loaf fat. We'll just do one. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. So this is where I'm at so far. I hit the home button. And... It should tell me where I'm at. I think that's for today though. Anyway, when you're planning, oh, I am pretty close. When you're planning your day, you'll have to go back and like play around with portion sizes. You might need to add, you know, for a, a bedtime snack or something, you might want to add some fats or carbs if you're low on those things, but this is why I recommend doing it the night before so that you can kind of play around with your portions um, to make sure that you're hitting your macros correctly. So I can go to nutrition for tomorrow. See, I'm 13 grams over on protein. I'm way, way under for carbs. So I'm going to have to find a way to add some carbs in tomorrow. And I'll just reduce my serving size for proteins. And then I need to add a few fats too. But it kind of gives you an idea of how to play around with that. And um, you'll get the hang of it after you do it for a week or so. And that's it for now.